what up my friends it's day again and today I just want to showcase pretty much and I do a little quick review on the Redeemer this is the winner of the next great starship the first season it's made by four horsemen and it was a clear winner like as soon as if you go back and rewatch it in case you haven't they were just miles ahead in terms of the rendering and the amount of work they put into it and the details this thing is awesome and it all makes sense no, I know a lot of people don't like the design, but most can agree that if you watch the series, these guys just were the clear, like they just were advanced way beyond everyone else. And uh, I really just wanted to talk about what I think this ship can do. And there's a difference with this ship. Um, I'm thinking early game and late game. When I say early game, I mean the beta and the early persistent universe and then moving onward. So let's just start by talking about it. It's a great attack platform and a troop transport. That's its main thing. Um, it's got a class 4 turret on the front. And it's got two class 5 turrets. So that means it's got a crew of three. And it holds six marines. So it's an expensive ship, I think, to man. And I f like similar to a constellation. That's how I feel it's going to be simply because of the crew and, and all the, the systems at work but this is a pirate's dream this thing is and I say pirate's dream especially early game this ship can hold six guys fully armed ready to go now they have to release the first person aspect first the module um, they're gonna have to release and multiplayer crew ships so this isn't going to be an arena commander, but once dogfighting, or I'm um, dogfighting, once uh, the Persistent Universe starts, the beta, this thing is going to be amazing. For pirates, I assume, because we're not going to have the ship or, or ship to planet landing uh, first person aspect. It's still going to be just like zones and automated. You're not going to be, it's not procedural. So having those Marines, it's kind of limited having those six guys in the back. But. If you are going to be doing boarding, then it's great. Another role I just wanted to talk about, which I think is amazing, is being a medic. And I think you can be a great medic because it has 10 upgradable slots in this ship. So you're going to be able to change this thing up to the way you want. And I'm assuming you're going to be able to upgrade the engines and put scanners on and tractor beams. So being able to, in a big battle, just like the cut, I had a video talking about the Cutlass doing this, I think this could be great at it too, because it's very maneuverable, it's got, seems like it has really good um, defensive capabilities with missile racks and turrets, but you might be able to take some of those parts off and get tractor beams, scanners, that kind of thing. So that's, if I, I've been considering getting this ship, and if I did, I probably would play maybe as a medic or just a transport of my, my guys in between because I'm not going to be playing a pirate. But if I was a pirate, this with a group of other pirates to do the damage and then this as boarding with six guys ready to go, I think that's amazing. Um, and even for a big clan to have one of these with troops in it to back up your big Idrises and your big ships like that, I think it's amazing. So that's all guys, I just wanted to showcase how amazing this, this thing is, it, it, it's, I mean, it, it, it comes with escape pods for every guy in the bed, like it's, it's so well thought of, Four Horsemen definitely deserve to win this, they, they just put so much effort and detail into it, and yes, they designed this to be a, a troop transport attack platform kind of ship, but it's just so versatile, like they put so much into it, all the hard points, 10 of them that I think, I don't know, early game, it's going to be amazing, but finding a reason to use those six seats might be challenging, and that's my only concern. I'd rather have it as cargo myself, but I, if you had this, it would be something, something else, like it would be amazing to be able to have those guys ready to go, but then you remember, you got to have all those guys have to have their guns and their all their stuff in your ship, so it can be pretty expensive. And I, it, they say it's affordable and it's very durable, but I don't know. I think a group of 
like you have three guys in here i think a group of cutlasses three you know that's better to me i that's just my opinion but we'll have to see i don't know until i actually get to play one and that's the big test and uh hopefully i get to i'm probably gonna get one just because i love the design anyways you guys if uh if you got anything else you want to add to this let me know yeah look see it's quite different from that avenger isn't it since i love it uh yeah if you got anything to add let me know and subscribe if you haven't don't forget and i just wanted to also say congratulations to the four horsemen those guys killed it with this ship i'm day i'll see you on the next one it is equipped with two class one wing mounted weapons let the public and the civilians buy these ships now is because